signed a lease this morning, bitch. I'm moving to LA and no one can stop me because the flight is booked, the movers booked, the boxes packed. I can't believe it was so easy. I'm not saying that I wasn't stressed and aggravated, but the amount of time that I was stressed and aggravated was negligible. I only had to look for an apartment one day before I found one. Mind you, this is all remotely because this is across the country. Let's just hope there's nothing crazy going on in the neighborhood or in the apartment where I signed my lease. It looks nice, it's newly renovated. I'm feeling good about this. And then it's a party on May 30th, a day party. So we gonna go, we gonna kick it for Memorial Day. You feel me? It's gonna be my, my big blowout, my big bash, my last day. And then I'm gone. I'm flying out the next morning. So I had planned on keeping my straight backs until I got to LA but after realizing that uh, I was going to make one last appearance I decided to go ahead and get my hair done I don't know I'm, I'm really liking becoming one of those girls that um keeps her hair done yeah healing my inner child healing my inner child if I could go back to being the alt 11 year old, don't you know this would have ate down? This would have ate, oh my God. And you know what? I might have got still talked about. I think at 11, I would have got talked about because everybody wanted to be grown. So they would have said, oh, your beads are childish or some shit like that. But it would have been fine because I would have knew it, I was eating. It wouldn't have mattered because I would have knew I was eating. Ugh, same with my nails. Uh, like even if I don't do long nails every single time I get them done, I still like being one of those girls who keeps her nails done. And I feel like living in LA, I'm, I'm going to have to um, keep up with myself more than what I was. You know, it's all about appearances. And I just want to blend in seamlessly so I can have a nice and easy time. <laughs> This move was sponsored by lots of dance breaks and very patient, diligent <laughs> cleaning and packing processes. The packing process was of course done over a matter of a few days and I was really nervous because I'm shipping my things in a U-Haul box, like a U-Box. Like you reserve a specific box and they put it in a truck with a bunch of other boxes with, your, with a bunch of other people's stuff and then they just drop it off at the fulfillment center wherever you're located. As you can see, my stack of stuff was taller than me, but the movers were so sweet. Got everything packed in there, no problem. Prior to the Memorial Day event, a friend did invite me out to this bar that's like a popular like small music venue for local artists. And look at this DJ cutting up, bro. I did have to go shopping for a new outfit for the event because i've been wearing the same clothes since pre-quarantine i've i've not shopped i've not adjusted my wardrobe aside from throwing things out so i went to wicker and i stopped by a few stores in there urban outfitters had these hip-hop tees but i just could not justify giving that money to them when i know there are some black owned businesses who make t-shirts like this and i would rather spend my money with them i also found this skirt which i ended up going with this came home with me because it matched my nails. I just couldn't resist. Then I stopped in Buffalo Exchange. I found a t-shirt that matches that skirt. So because I picked up a few different things, I had to try on some combinations of like clothes that I already had, plus some things that I picked up while I was shopping. This is outfit number one. And while I did feel mad cute, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was appropriate for the event or the day. Outfit number two is also really cute, but I try on a couple different shoes with it because the sandals just weren't hitting for me. This one feels more like a little too casual for the event in my opinion.
And then this is outfit number three, which I do end up going with. Final look coming up soon. I did make some modifications to the t-shirt that I bought. I cut the sleeves off and trimmed it at the bottom, cut it so that I would be able to tie it in the front, and then I also cut the collar so that it would fall open just a little bit. And here I am the day of. This is also the day before I leave for LA. The best way that I can describe my last night in Chicago is like a season finale of a really good TV show where I'm obviously the main character. And to describe the season finale, there was a supporting character who was written off the show and actually there were a few and they came back in the season finale they tried to draw all of the attention to their big scene right but at the end of the day they're not going to be in the next season so it doesn't really matter <sighs> i'm in my apartment in LA. <sighs> and my bathroom is so nice. <laughs> and it is not it's not big, but it's much bigger than my last bathroom than my last apartment. Like the fact that there's even this much space between the shower and the wall, the fact that I can stand in front of my toilet and take steps backwards, I couldn't do that in my last bathroom because the toilet was damn near up against the wall. <sighs> Who's that girl? I'm that girl. Who's that girl? I'm that girl. I really hate when people try to speak fear into my plans. Such a miserable, non-believing, hating ass the fuck up. And watch me show you how to do it. I'm a young bitch, so I got the ambition I'ma get while I want while I can.